Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. It's called the law of sacrifice. Solomon offered a thousand bond offerings. Sacrifice here does not just talk about finances alone. There has to be total surrender. In this case, he offered offerings. But there are levels of sacrifice where you are the offering. You provide the fire. I'll provide the sacrifice. Listen. There are times that God is not looking for what comes from you. You are the sacrifice he's looking for. You want to receive an investment, a rich investment of the spirit of wisdom. You must become that sacrifice. The Bible says, I beseech thee, brethren, by the message of the Lord, that ye offer your bodies unto God, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He calls it your reasonable act of service. There are people who bring money and they give God and he says, carry your money away. What I'm looking for is your heart. Do you know why? Because you see, the kind of results you command when the spirit of wisdom is at work in you, God must have your heart. If not, it will destroy you. The pride that comes from the excellency of that result is the reason why many people do not last as God begins to lift them. I'll be showing you the benefits of this spirit. I am telling you when the spirit of wisdom comes upon you, men will almost worship you because of the kind of result that comes from your life. But if you have become that sacrifice, you're on the altar and everything that comes through your life only becomes for his glory. You can't scam God and play politics with him and say, Lord, just grant me the spirit. Don't worry, I'll return back. He says, no. I have watched men for decades. I know the vulnerability and the tendencies in their hearts. The power of the spirit of wisdom is so, I'm telling you, in one month, one month, your life can so change, your ministry can so change, your business can so change, you will marvel and wonder at what you become. And so before he invests that dimension of grace on you, he now tells you, sacrifice. Solomon offered, please look, look with me. Imagine, imagine that this entire altar is full of bulls. And you are cutting them one by one. And heaven is watching. One thousand. Please keep that scripture there. Verse four. One thousand. For some of you, you think 1,000 is not much. Go and try to buy one ram. Right now, with the current economic situation. A healthy, well-built ram. One. I don't know how much they sell, but you go and try to buy it. Or one cow. Even if someone pushes it down, it will stand up, but you will still be angry that you paid so much and they're pushing that cow down. And here is a man who just watched this and said, let's start with 100 and he killed 100 and then he killed 200 and i can imagine the angel saying what is going on here 300 400 and he says no it's not enough add some more i want to show him how much i love him and god is saying it's not about the cows who is doing something to something that is so close to what my son is going to be doing this guy is about to give everything 800 cows or rams 850 900 950 and he still said let's add some more and he said angel stay back you don't need to go i will go myself this kind of sacrifice can i tell you this there are sacrifices both financial and otherwise that are representations of your passion and seriousness with god when you commit yourself to those levels of deep sacrifices you open yourself for encounters do you know there is a level of sacrifice that automatically becomes a covenant psalm 50 verse 5 give it to us please let me show you from scripture it is it's not a covenant that you enter willfully it says gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me how 
there is a level of passion and hunger god sees you giving so much for the kingdom and he says you are doing this for me god sees you promoting the kingdom in ways that you are going out of your way like a madman there was something solomon understood and the bible says that night not the next day god came to him and said you are calling me solomon said did i call you he says your sacrifice there are many of you your heart you have not given anything in your life that has touched the heart of god to really command his presence this is not coercion in any way to inconvenience you but it's the truth can i tell you this behind the uncommon people you see god using world over today there is a dimension of sacrifice hmm. you know most times when people see god using an individual marvelously people begin to think it's just luck or you are lucky or you were fortunate to just find someone who laid hands on you my brothers and my sisters behind every story of genuine lasting exploit is blood dripping on the altar a testament of sacrifice you want to access the spirit of wisdom god must vet you until you die the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your reputation the sacrifice of your ego the sacrifice of your resources the sacrifice of your intelligence if it is the wisdom that comes from above you are looking for you have to get to that point where you say lord take everything ask anybody you admire ask anybody who manifests on common dimensions of results there is a sacrifice component as the condition that brought either the anointing or the wisdom of the spirit are we together anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me you have my everything all of me lord you have my everything you have my everything use my everything i release my everything take my everything say take all of me all of me lord you have my everything use all of me all of me lord sacrifice listen you know you have given all when there is nothing left again abraham take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest take your reputation the only one that you spent 30 years building take it to a mountain take your resources the one that you pride on oh it is by my strength that i'm a millionaire by my strength i'm a billionaire look what my intelligence has given me and god says if it's business you want to do with me let me show you how we do business in this kingdom i do not come to people who are strong when my strength finds strength it goes back it waits until you are empty let me tell you this there's nothing wrong with confession but there is a mistake we keep making in the body of christ there are times respectfully speaking not to mock or spite it but this blind claiming that we claim everything just like that no there are positive confessions but there are foolish claims that never lead to any results there is a real price not everything is a gift there are things that are rewards 
and if we do not balance this we will continue to mock ourselves jumping up and down and never be able to command results you want the spirit of wisdom lavishly at work in your life sacrifice so that God can call you today listen God can call you and say help them please he says you are a billionaire but I want you to leave that meeting come and you say yes sir after all I was dead before they even knew me hear me man of God if you want the spirit of wisdom to come upon you to command exploits in ministry it's more than a Bible school it's more than just hands being laid on you death sacrifice there is nothing in my life today I tell you sincerely by the God of heaven there is nothing in my life today that I cannot give God nothing and be careful don't say that because God will vet you God take everything he says thank you he knows what to touch it's easy to give Ishmael you can say Ishmael leave but he says it's not Ishmael I want take Isaac Isaac is a symbol of your future. Isaac is a symbol of your reputation. Isaac is a symbol, the epicenter of your self-worth. Take it to a mountain. If it's power you want in this kingdom, if it's an investment of the spirit you want. This one is not something you claim. This one is a cup you drink and a baptism you are baptized into. You want the spirit of wisdom to be at work in you. The grace that subdues systems and structures. Dominion at a level and a frequency that confounds principalities and powers. This one comes from above. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord. Your royal majesty Yabone nakao Sujada ne nakao There is something I know about sacrifice. Sacrifice is a magnet. It can call dimensions of God. There were people who encountered wisdom at the frequency of desperation and sacrifice. Please sit down. We'll soon be praying. Let me share with you an encounter one time. I don't like to tell too much of my stories because I like for people to place their faith on the Word of God and not just the experience of a man but sometimes it's good to bring some of these encounters I remember when I was passionately praying and desperately seeking for the spirit of wisdom in my life I had seen fathers of faith I studied the largest churches in all the continents at that time and I saw profound display of wisdom in businessmen people in ministry i took out time to pray and pray and i said lord please grant by your spirit if this is true let the holy spirit reveal himself as the spirit of wisdom in this life the apostolic call has the spirit of wisdom as the principal signature more than the miraculous because of the ministry of spiritual governance and I had an encounter that night. Listen very carefully. 
I was there was a long queue of people and I was serving bread and this bread was full of honey inside like you put um, jam or butter or something you know and then there was a machine there this was how God gave me a revelation of the spirit of wisdom there was a machine there that was producing the bread it came out automatic with the with honey dripping with honey and I was collecting it and I was serving people there was a long queue but the shock was that the people were not seeing the machine so they were looking at me where is this guy getting this thing from I kept giving them I kept giving them I kept giving them I kept giving them I was surprised myself the machine just produces it I pick it up and give them and they were eating there were people who were hungry you could look at their hunger ravaged faces they were there desperate and thirsty and that was when I knew by the spirit that I had received an impartation of this grace there is such a grace called the spirit of wisdom where God will come to you in the night and just say this is how the next five years will be just do this this is why there is no boasting no when the spirit of wisdom comes upon you your life will look deceptively slow except that one step you take under the influence of that spirit will be 10 years in one pay attention to what I'm telling you the spirit of wisdom sacrifice many of us do not pay attention to the sacrifice dimension of wisdom forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire let your mind be holy god's fire